Hello, I'm Nari McDiamond for Mining News Select, and I'd like to introduce you to Alvo Minerals and its Managing Director, Rob Smackman. Now, Rob, Alvo is only about two years old, so for people unfamiliar, can you please briefly describe the company? Oh, it'd be a pleasure, Nairi. Um, Alvo is a new company that's been, as you said, listed a couple of years ago. We're a critical minerals exploration company focused on Brazil. Uh, Brazil is a, a fabulous country to operate. Uh, I've been working there for a long time and uh, I feel like the opportunities for this emerging space uh, is, is really, um, it's really exciting. So yeah, Brazil is our focus, critical minerals is our, is our exploration aim and uh, we've got a couple of projects that are really interesting for investors. Well, in terms of those two projects, you've got the Palmer VMS project, which we'll get to in a moment, but you recently acquired the Blue Bush Rare Earth Elements project nearby. What's the attraction there? Oh, first of all, the location. It's right next door to our, uh, our operating base in Brazil, a little town called Palmeropolis. Quite a uh, quite a mouthful, but the Blue Bush is literally 10 kilometres from, from home. It's uh, a project that hasn't had any modern exploration at all. But it's on the same structure and the same geology as the, as the only ionic clay rare earth project anywhere in the world that's actually in construction and, and almost com commissioned. So that's a project called Cerro Verde. We're on the same geological structure as that. It's a, it's a granite called the Cerro Dorado granite. And um, we're hopeful that uh, it has the same uh, properties um, that Cerro Verde has. So um, it's really launched uh, Alvo into the, the more rare earth space. And I think it's a project that could actually, um, you know, overtake Palmer one day. Um, but uh, we're pretty excited by the potential that it has. If we return to Palmer then, Rob, and that's already got an existing resource of 4.6 million tonnes, grading 1% copper, 3.9% zinc, 0.4% lead and 20 grams per tonne silver. But you've recently announced a new discovery there too. Uh, what's next on the agenda at Palmer? Well, there's a, there's a couple of things. Um, all of that uh, information regarding um, C1 and C3, which is where the resources are, is all historical work that was done by the Geological Survey back in the 1980s. So we've since, since we listed, we started diamond drilling and we haven't stopped. So we're about to update those resources at C1 and C3 with uh, over 20,000 metres of diamond drilling to go on top of that resource. Um, but yeah, C4 is our new discovery and it's the thickest uh, mineralization that we've hit to date. Um, it's in a, a big package of alteration and really excited by what the potential of C4 could be. Uh, the cool thing about C4 is that it's really close to C1, a couple of kilometers away. Um, and it certainly has some, some of the similar properties to, to C1 um, as well. So it could be the next, next uh, part of our resource calc and um, become part of a, you know, a project that requires a bit more critical mass to, to turn into a development story. So, yeah, C4 is pretty exciting for us and, and VMS and, you know, strongly, you know, rich with, with copper and zinc is, is where we're, we're really excited about on, on this particular project. Now, Rob, you mentioned earlier that you had a bit of experience in Brazil, but could you elaborate a little more about the management team? Um, so, yeah, I, I first went to Brazil 2004. I was lucky enough to, to move there with my family. I uh, lived there for over 10 years. And um, ever since, I've been a bit of a Brazilophile, you know, Brazilophile, if that's the right word. I'm not sure. But, um, you know, love operating there, understand um, the culture and understand as, as much as you can of a foreign culture, but understand how, how to operate there, um, speak enough um, Portuguese to be dangerous. And it's um it's a great place to to operate. Um yeah, enjoy that. On the team as well is is Bo Nichols, who's who was on the, on the consulting side within Brazil, lived there for over nine years, um, speaks the language as well, and and saw every other project that I didn't look at in Brazil. So really good experience across the country um, and within the company. But within Brazil, we have a fantastic local team. Um, there's no expats there. It's all Brazilians, um, people that we've known and and worked with in the past and yeah we feel like we've built a really strong team in country that um you know they're young and they're really enthusiastic and uh they just love the way that we that we're operating over there all right well finally rob what would you like a potential investor to hear about alvo minerals alvo is a critical minerals explorer in brazil but we're really different because we're active um we've bought our own equipment 
and I think that's a real differentiator amongst the um, amongst the junior junior space. Our own e e um, geophysical equipment, EM and IP. We've bought our own small diamond. Uh, sorry, excuse me, small auger rig um, that is running around doing first pass exploration, both at Blue Bush and at and at Palmer. Um, We've got XRF. We've got a, a core facility which is uh, world class. It's it's a it's a company that's really out there exploring actively within Brazil. So I think that's a that's a big um, big plus for us. But we've also got a huge footprint. So nearly a thousand square kilometres of the VMS. You know, it's a it's a target that's big enough to host a um, you know if tens if not hundreds of millions of tons of VMS style um, mineralisation at Palma. And then the rare earth could be could be global scale as well. So, yeah, very exciting um, prospects in an emerging um, emerging area. And uh, yeah, we think that we we give bang for buck when it comes to comes to exploration. Well, Rob, thank you very much for taking the time to have a chat today. Thanks, Nairi.